Okay, we are joined now by um, Coach Bill Self and uh, the Kansas Jayhawks. His two student athletes with us this afternoon are Steve Mikhailuk and uh, Malik Newman. Coach, congratulations on your victory. Uh, thank you. It was hard fought, and obviously getting behind 10 early uh, isn't what we had hoped for. Uh, we couldn't guard them early, but, but then the, when the game settled in, uh, Malik got on a roll and, and basically carried us offensively the first half, and then we just you know played a little bit better defensively the second half and made some timely plays. All right, Coach, thank you. Let's go to questions for uh, Steve and Malik. Thank you. And the first one, guys, will come on the front row here. Your left. Yeah. And, and again, state name okay. and affiliation. Uh, Sean Roney, Dos Mundos newspaper here in Kansas City. Um, Malik, um, how much do you think today's performance, not just by yourself, by, but by the team in general, was fueled by, uh, as uh, Coach put it, the, uh, the beat down that you got by Oklahoma State the, the other day in Stillwater? I mean, uh, it, it had a lot to do with it. Uh, you know, we wanted to just come out, be aggressive, play tough, because the last two times we, we, we haven't played tough against those guys. So we just wanted to come out, execute the game plan, have fun, and just be tough. All the way back here. Okay, on the TV stand in the back. This is Neil Jones from KCTV5 in Kansas City for both players. Uh, what is this? We spent in the media about the first two thirds of the season talking about what this team couldn't do. What is this performance tonight? Missing your big horse inside. What does this say about what you guys can do moving forward? Uh, I would say we just we just showed that uh, we're pretty, uh, we can play without a dog. Like we can't win because uh, uh, he's really really forced for us inside, and we can throw the ball to him uh, when I wanted to, and he can score. But you know, right now he can't play and uh, play and it just. Uh, I mean, it's a little bit different team. We drove a lot more, and uh, you know, we shot a little bit more three, a little bit more threes, and uh, you know, it was just a little bit different to play. And uh, we play a little bit faster, and uh, I would say a little bit, scra a little bit more scrappy on defense. But uh, it just, it just changes a little bit. Uh, I mean, just to just to piggyback on what Sfi said, I mean, you know, the big fella, he he's a key part to our team. But I mean, without him. Uh, like we said, we can play a little faster. We can be a little scrappy, and um, I mean, the guards they we you know we we able to dictate the offense a little bit more instead of um, you know trying to play through the big fella uh, a lot more. Okay, guys, we'll go on your extreme left. Uh, Malik Blair Kirkoff with the Kansas City Star. Uh, career high for you today. Just um, talk about your confidence level coming into this game, and then as the game unfolded, did you did your confidence grow? Uh, yeah, I mean, I had high confidence coming into the game. Um, I mean, you know, Coach, he's been emphasizing that uh, guards win games in the postseason. So, um, I mean, I know I have to be good as well as the other guards. So, I just wanted to come out, uh, have a lot of confidence in myself, being be aggressive. And, I mean, once I saw my first couple of shots go in, uh, my confidence actually did grow a little bit more. Other questions for the two guys? No? Okay. Uh, Spi and Malik, I'll let you go back to the locker room for more interviews with Chris Tice and your SID. Congratulations on your victory. We'll see you tomorrow afternoon or evening. <clears throat> Questions for Coach Self now. First one will be on Coach's left here on the front row. Yeah, Bill, John Hoover, the franchise and Sporting News. Um, knowing Oklahoma State rebounds like they do or can like they did last night, Knowing that you're missing Duke, uh, down low, um, Adoka down low, how did you mitigate that? How, you know, they only out rebounded you guys 36 33. Yeah. Uh, second chance points was fairly even. How did you guys mitigate that? Well, I, I don't think we rebounded the ball that well. I, I, I thought. I thought we did a much better job of blocking out today, even though they had a couple of, like McGriff got the nasty dunk to start. And I think when he got hurt, he missed a dunk on a follow. But but other than that, we, we blocked out pretty good to the last uh, six or seven minutes. And, and then we, didn't, we don't go after the ball with two hands like 
like men do a lot of times. And so we, we got to improve there. But but as as uh, they they they're physical and they crash, you know, with at, with four spots as well as anybody we played all year. So you know, we we, we were better, even though I, w I won't be too giddy about it. I, th I think tape will show that we can definitely rebound better than what we did. Now on coach's extreme left. Uh, Blair Kirkhoff. Bill, um, you're up one at halftime, one guy's got 20. You've yeah. got a lot of guys capable of doing that. Did you just need somebody to do that today? Yeah, you know, we, we, we've got guys capable, but we haven't, you know, other than Devontae, we really haven't had anybody do that uh, uh, here recently. Spee's shown he can do it. Malik's had some good games. LeGerald hadn't scored the ball. Uh, in the last you know couple of months like he was early in the season so so you know uh, even though we got four guys i think that could get 20 or 25 any night we haven't really shown that 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 we could had four guys here of late and so uh, yeah malik malik putting us on his back was huge to be down 10 early when they went you know when they just kicked us last week and they're making everything it seems like and and and, and we're we're struggling to have him put us on his back and, and then get us to halftime with a one point lead and then in the second half we just kind of pieced it together but but uh, that was big for us and 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 going forward without doke especially we're going to have to have some perimeter player play great maybe two to play great uh, to give us the best chance outside aisle here on the left yeah, Jake Trotter with the ESPN. Bill, thoughts on what the uh, selection committee should do with uh, your alma mater? Uh, well, I'm biased uh, because uh, they played us better than anybody has all year, twice. And uh, I, I think they're without question a tournament team. I, I look at these these things that the, the Pugnants put up there and, you know, the blind resumes or whatever. You know, surely what how you have played down the stretch and, and and those sorts of things matter in our league if you go six and four down the stretch you really played well considering all 10 games are monster games and so i don't think there's any doubt doubt mike and his and his team deserve to be in and i'd be very disappointed if they're not let's move to the extreme right Coach, I asked the players this. Uh, it seemed like the first couple of months of the season, that every time we did a press conference, it was about what this team didn't have, what they couldn't do, what they needed to do. Have they shown you something? Have they shown us all something down the stretch here, the way that they went on, ran away in the league and then and played shorthanded today? Uh, yeah, I think I think playing today, one, 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 the sample size is too small. You know, with just today, with Doak, we, we're going to have to play well tomorrow without him, and if we're fortunate enough to win, you know, Sunday. But for one day, yeah, you know, we got 14 and 14 out of our other two bigs, which was a positive. And and uh, you know, this this team is easy to nitpick with because uh, uh, when we're good, it's magnified in ways because we can shoot and 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 move the ball. When we're bad, it's magnified in ways because we don't do the things. Uh, in grinded out games that a lot of good teams do. So, so uh, uh, you know, I, I think it's fair to say that this team leaves you wanting more sometimes. But, but to your point, uh, in this league, to win the league by two games, they, you know, they're probably not saying that about Texas Tech and West Virginia. Uh, probably saying, hey, that was a great year. And, and sometimes I think we get a little spoiled on what our expectations are. But, or, but I'm real proud of them. I, I think they've competed hard for the most part. But the, the reason there's frustration, I think, is because the things that we visibly see are things that we can control that we don't do better at. And we, 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 we've still got to tighten up a lot of stuff. Other questions for Coach? No? Okay, Coach, we'll let you, you go. Get ready for tomorrow. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it.